digital represents a fantastic opportunity for our clients to change what they're doing. Many of them are looking at ways in which they can improve the value they add to the business and make themselves more central to business decisions, but also improve the efficiency with which they undertake their processes. At the moment, they're grappling with blockchain, they're looking at robotics pilots, and they're also looking at when they move finance systems into the cloud. To me, the big difference is to look at all this holistically and to think about the people in the finance function. What skill sets do you need going forward and how are those people going to work collaboratively around the organisation? Digital is changing the role of the CFO today. CFOs are more involved in business partnering than ever before. Because of the new business models and the technologies that automate the back office. So finance is stepping up. These days the business is challenging the role of the finance. Uh, in the organization because they have data, they can do analysis. So the business partner is something that has to step up and they need to deliver insight which is valuable for the business. This has to change. New technology like big data and data analytics will change the role of the finance function. And this is a great opportunity for our clients yeah, to take more leadership, more responsibility and be uh, and becoming a better business partner. Business partnering is about decision support, driving strategy and driving performance in a business. What's changed? Well, we've got more data than ever, so we need to move from insight to action faster than ever before. New business models present themselves all the time that need to be evaluated. Driving performance, businesses need a new set of metrics that are fit for a digital age. So for the finance function to be relevant in the digital age, it needs to provide data and analytics to its customers within the business in a completely different format and experience. And I think that's the biggest issue that finance needs to address. So the finance skills of the future are not so much the technical accounting skills. The finance skills of the future are the skills of the ability to interact with the rest of the organisation, the ability to e interact with external stakeholders. Finance skills are also going to be required in terms of interpretation and analysis so that finance can partner with the business in an effective way. Finance skills are also important in terms of the ability to interpret organisations future direction. Finance and IT they have to start working differently. The point is who owns the data and who will run the show understanding, analysing and using the data. Our, our finance clients today are using new uh, collaboration techniques to bridge gaps between digital savvy millennials and baby boomers who have a lot of the institutional knowledge of the enterprise. So robotics is, and automation is going to be one of the biggest game changers in finance in the years ahead. We see many organizations engaging with PwC to get our perspectives on how we can impact their organizations. And we are seeing many suppliers coming to the market with really revolutionary um, processes. Um, and we think this is going to have a significant implication on the efficiency and the effectiveness of finance operations in the years ahead. Cloud really drives standardization and harmonization of data, processes and technology, bringing new opportunities for process improvement and real-time insights. With cloud ERP, the business always uses the latest ERP instances and it enables the business to implement new functionality immediately and at a lower cost than with regular traditional on-premise implementations. Security is often uh, one of the key questions customers are asking, but the software suppliers are owning the complete stack and in that way it's much safer than uh, in general. Asian market is changing. Our clients want to be more global. Digital finance, particularly in the EPM area, is helping to achieve that goal. So you see digital has a lot of impact on finance or the other way around. Finance also needs a digital business model on the EPM side for its operations. We have to sync finance from the purpose back to what we need and how we employ all the tools to have a real digital finance business model.